All right, y'all. So if you didn't know, last night on July 1st, 2022, on Friday, Nicki Minaj did her first ever Essence Festival show, and it was great. However, when her DJ started to play her and Kanye's monster song, she made him cut it off and then called Kanye a clown. And shortly after Nicki made this announcement during her show, Cardi jumped on live to quote unquote thank Lil Durk and Kanye. And her friend was in the background trying to get her off live because she knew that Cardi was probably trying to be petty. Thank you, Kanye. Thank you, Lil Durk. Dead ass. I haven't had the chance to hit up Lil Durk and Kanye, but I, uh, but she gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. I, I wanna. Yeah. Now, a lot of fans were online speculating that she was upset and called out Kanye West in this manner during her show because yesterday Cardi B dropped her newest single, which actually featured Lil Durk and Kanye West. And let's just say that this single is far from the spiritually charged Donda album that Kanye put out. Me personally, I think that Nicki was upset that Kanye did this because for those people who don't know, Nicki and Kanye did a song called New Body back in 2019 and that was also a time where tensions were high between Nicki and Cardi. The whole world knew the situation and I'm sure that Kanye knew that as well especially since he was actually working with Nicki at the time to do the song New Body and who knows maybe Nicki even confided in Kanye about the situation with Cardi as well. But I don't believe that that's the only reason why Nicki was upset with Kanye. I think it also went deeper than that. It was the fact that he wouldn't give the final and official clearance of their song song new body from 2019 after it leaked her verse from the song and despite her verse getting a lot of praise and a lot of anticipation for the overall single between her and Kanye Kanye decided to scrap the entire song and he decided not to release it as a single or put it on his album pretty much stating that it didn't correlate with his spiritual direction at the time uh, but I have to ask a question for the barbs because I've seen them talk to you about this before oh, you have a verse on a song that has yet to see the light of day called New Body. And I know you mentioned that it's not necessarily in your hands, but can we manifest that that sees the light of day, please? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that. And I respect everybody and where they are in life and, and, and where they are spir spiritually, right? Um, but you know what's what I thought was funny, what I got a kick out of recently, that the public adored Nobody. Mm -hmm. Like it's Nobody was the biggest hit record that never came out. Sma the absolute time. smash. Smash, right? So what I thought was interesting that it was that Kanye made me write my Nobody verse four times over in order to fit into where he was creatively and spiritually in his life, right? Mm -hmm. Only to then I go on the internet a few <laughs> months later to see him on Drink Champs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, rolling a blunt or smoking, I don't know what he was doing, but I said, now ain't this a... You're not alone, Nikki. Like, I'm like, what? you know, may, I, I, miss, I missed it by a year, I guess. I, I guess about a few months, uh, Mike, I guess I missed it. You know what I'm saying? Because now had Nubody been out when he was not in his uh, gospel sort of era, mm -hmm. then it would have seen a lot of day. But it didn't. So it wasn't meant to be. But yes, everybody knows that was the hit that got away. It absolutely is. And, and Nikki, it, it, it kills us as fans because the song's a smash. And uh, who knows, maybe, <laughs> what if you get the call for Donda too? And, and it appears. Um, well, or is it, or is, or is, a the, or is the ship sailed? Or is the ship sailed at this point? Yeah, I think I think the ship has sailed for new body because now everybody, right, fair enough. everybody has come to love, you know, the original way they heard it. So I'll just let everybody have that in their hearts. And it is what it is. Sometimes stuff happens like that in, in rap, in our world. Some, you, you can't predict how things are gonna, uh, be presented to the world so it is what it is 
so there you have it y'all like i said earlier i don't think that nikki was particularly upset because kanye worked with cardi overall per se however i think she was mainly upset and triggered because she's like how could you scrap a song that would have been a smash between us in 2019 because you were insinuating that it wasn't you know correlating with your spiritual journey and vibe that you were on but you hopped on this cardi b song that is the furthest thing from a spiritual vibe as well so basically what it comes down to i think to put it simple is nikki was upset that kanye pretty much was contradicting himself when it came to the songs that he would approve to be released regardless of whatever spiritual journey or vibe that he was on especially when it has to do with someone that she has publicly had beef with over the past couple of years. So I think that Nikki's frustration really stemmed more from Kanye and him contradicting himself and not so much of Cardi. I mean, yeah, she probably was a little bit more insulted because it was Cardi, but overall she was frustrated more so with Kanye. But anyways, y'all, comment down below in the comment section letting me know your honest thoughts and opinions about this whole situation because I really want to know what you guys think. And also, check out the video that I posted earlier about her having a baby bump while performing at the Essence Festival yesterday on July 1st. Let me know if y'all think she's pregnant or not.